Hello, it is August 3rd, 2022. And because nobody else on YouTube that we have been able to find has any videos about this, this is Dune Ground Cherry, scientific name Thessalus Walteri, because the guy who discovered its name was Walter. And this is a perennial spreading native to Georgia and pretty much the entire like bottom southeast coast of the United States. This is growing right along this little uh, road side area to Bell's Landing. So this is all, I think a salt marsh is the technical term. But anyway, these, just like all the, a lot of the other ground cherries, you can, they got pretty distinctive leaves once you know what sylvain and family things look like. So I noticed them right away. I was like, wait, is that a pepper? No, it's not a pepper. It's a ground cherry. So here is one that is still ripening on the plant. They turn bright yellow once they're past their green stage, but they're not ready to eat yet. This area gets mowed down very regularly, and you can tell some of the plants are struggling a bit because the leaves are turning yellow. Um, and very curly. Very curly. We actually have some teeny tiny lanterns here. And if you wait five seconds, I happen to glance over and see that one which is a more typical size for them you can see these plants in the back that don't get mowed down on a regular basis are actually pretty healthy, healthy and tall and it leans back over the little marsh thingy there and you can see some green and yellow lanterns on it these guys are very easy to clone you can just take a cutting and because they spread through rhizomes there's little tiny babies popping up all the way up almost to the road most of the time and you can just dig those up with a little bit of the root attached because they're going to get mowed down no matter what. Stick them in a plant pot and they will grow wild, especially, they will grow crazy, especially in the garden. This area was just mowed two days ago, which is why there's nothing here right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have some at home that are, one of them is in a teeny tiny plant pot about this big and it's got fruit that are probably bigger than the teeny. Fill it up and then here's bag and just keep sending up more and more shoots. Here's two lanterns on this one that's healthier. The leaves up here are not supposed to be yellow and curly like that, they're supposed to look more like this. Here's a little empty one. I'll see if I can find one to actually open up to show the viewers. But the reason we're making this video and the reason we're here in particular today is because. We collected some ground cherries from this, this Alice Walteri Dune Ground Cherry. We saved the seeds and we planted those seeds in a container. And what has come up? Not Dune Ground Cherry. Instead, we have Cutleaf Ground Cherry, which is Fasalis angulata coming up, which does not, well, there's no flowers to really demonstrate it here, but the Dune Ground Cherry has red or Ooh, usually brown throats as the saying goes. Here's a close flower. Wait, hold on. There. This is what dune ground cherry flowers look like. Assuming we can get the camera to focus because I can't see the screen. Yes. But you can see how it's reddish or maybe There's brown. grass in the way. Yeah. That's what these flowers look like. And the seedlings that come up have all yellow flowers. And the leaves are not round like this, nor are they really fuzzy that I remember. But yeah, we have cut leaf ground cherry growing instead, even though we planted dune ground cherry seeds. So we're here today to see if we can find any cut leaf ground cherries growing nearby that might have cross pollinated them. Yes, tell they're... people how to identify this one, like the fuzzy leaves. Okay. Well, yeah. With the healthy dune plant. Dune ground cherry. Where's the healthy plant? Right here. All the way over here. Dune ground cherry, as the name kind of implies, is usually growing in areas near salt water or salt marshes, whatever the case may be. Here's another ripe ground cherry. I can, oh, there's another. That one might've been eaten already. Yeah, I think that's just a wrapper. Okay, that one's just a wrapper, but, ooh, thunder. Here's what the fruit looks like. And Pretty these are edible when they're ripe. Yep. Just like any of the ground cherry, you wait until the paper is completely dry and fruit is yellow or orange and you can give them a rinse if needed 
but not 100% required. Anyways, they grow near salty areas and disturbed sides of roads like here. We've found a few at the beach, like right on the edges of dunes and stuff. But they got, seems like all of these just have round leaves, slightly fuzzy on the underside. You can see the stems are a little bit hairy and they have these small yellow flowers with a reddish, although I think it looks brown, little lines on the inside. And the flowers face downward naturally, yep. not up. And like I said, they spread through rhizomes so where you find one, there will probably be an entire little patch from a single plant, so. Yep, that's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah, here's a flower that's not open yet, or maybe it was open yesterday. Oh, here's one. There's not really any landmarks here on the road, but this is in front of this telephone pole that doesn't have a number on it. Okay, so that's not helpful. But then there were more ground cherries down this way yesterday, so we'll see if we can find them, because they should have some flowers. You can see all the stuff they mowed down. There used to be a lot more. Here's some little ones. And this one, again, doesn't really have a landmark, but there's some pokeweed here. If you come here in 2022, you should be able to see that. These plants are a lot healthier than the other ones. Here's, oh, well, yeah, this is just on a little stem that's poking out of the ground. So you could probably just pull this whole thing up and stick it in some dirt and it'd be fine. They got the round leaves when they're healthy. There were some here with flowers. Oh, yep. Okay, well, it's kind of closing now. Just trying to find an open flower to demonstrate. There's an empty lantern. Okay, well, that's the end of the video. Oh, wait, yeah, now I see one. Never mind, it's not the end of the video. Here's what actual open flower looks like. It's white or yellow with those dark bands on the inside. This and actually seems downward. smaller than usual, so... Yeah, probably because they keep getting mowed. And see, that... Okay, so we either have a bunch of weirdos here, or so these are already cut leaf hybrids, because this one has an all yellow float throat, but it's got the dune ground cherry leaves. So, yeah, we're going to see if we can find some cut leaf ground cherries around here that these could have hybridized with to get all these plants that are possibly all uh, cut leaf and dune ground cherry hybrids. So, we'll keep you updated if we find anything. Bye. One last look at a flower. Bye-bye.